Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm talking to you guys about this. The Ryzen 3 3200G. This is a four core, four threaded processor with built-in Vega graphics, meaning you can actually play games without the need for a dedicated graphics card. I ran into this card because I'm looking for a cheap gaming PC that I can get for a friend of mine who doesn't actually have a PC and wants to get into PC gaming. Now looking at sites like Craigslist and Letgo, the selection for used PCs isn't very great. There are a lot of used Intel i3s, used Intel i7s from like the second, third generations, and even the pre-belts that people are selling don't look that good and they are a few years old. So I figured, why spend all your money on a used build when you could spend new money on a budget build and then have time to upgrade it later on? So the good thing about this processor is that practically every motherboard supports it from the A310 up to the X570. So you can actually upgrade your CPU in the future. So I decided that I was gonna make a very cheap budget build with this CPU. Now the build that I created, probably a lot of people won't do, but I wanted to build it just to give off a worst case scenario when it comes to its performance. For the build, I paired this 3200G with a B450 gigabyte Aorus M motherboard, eight gigs of dual channel memory running at 2400 megahertz, a 240 gig SSD, and a Zion 720p case that I just found lying around. That case is actually fairly old because it has a DVD drive and it comes with its own little 450 watt power supply, which is decent for a build like this. Now, before I get into the benchmarks, I do have to say that I did absolutely no overclocking on this CPU at all. The only changes I made in the BIOS was to enable the XMP profiles so that the RAM runs at its rated 2400 megahertz. For the benchmarks, I decided to test six games across different genres. Esports, AAA titles, and a racing title, just to see how well-rounded the CPU can be. Now, without further ado, let's get into the benchmarks. Looking at the benchmarks, I was actually surprised at how this budget chip can do. Looking at the eSport titles, you can get over 30 frames per second and easily over 150 frames per second on Valorant. Forza Horizon 4 came in the mid-20s, not surprising considering the Ultra preset can be very punishing on FPS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider came in at a disappointing 14 frames per second. The game is pretty much unplayable at its highest setting. What surprised me the most is Grand Theft Auto V, scoring an average of almost 50 frames per second in the highest settings at 1080p. Grand Theft Auto V seems to be well optimized, and I'm glad it's playable on start to budget chip. Now, I believe that to get a great experience in gaming, you have to aim for 60 frames per second in most titles, and even more than that in esports and competitive games for an added edge. Since 1080p at max settings couldn't reach that FPS goal, I set the resolution back at 720p and redid the testing at both max and low settings. Here is where I feel like the 3200G can shine, 720p gaming. At high settings, you see a significant increase in FPS from 1080p in all games, with Forza and Overwatch finally passing the 30 frames per second mark and Grand Theft Auto V passing the 60 frames per second mark. Rocket League struggled a bit to hit 60, but showed an overall increase of 15 frames per second, which felt smoother to play at. Shadow of the Tomb Raider still failed to hit even 30 frames per second at 720p max settings. It's definitely a tough game to render for this little CPU. Dropping all settings to its lowest possible preset, practically all games played smooth. Shadow of the Tomb Raider finally became playable, averaging 40 frames per second, which isn't the best, but it's easily doable. All games pass the 60 frames per second target, meaning all these games can be played without a hiccup. So what does this tell you about the 3200G? It's a very capable performer. At 1080p max settings, you probably won't be getting the best gaming experience, but dialing down the resolution and some of the graphical settings can net you a sweet spot between quality and performance. For 80 to about $100, the Ryzen 3 3200G is a really great CPU for those looking to get started in PC building and are on a very tight budget. I think anybody who's purchasing the CPU should definitely be aware of its limitations. But if you're satisfied with the results that you've seen today, for $80 to $100, this is a no-brainer. 
you will get very playable frame rates, at, albeit a very low resolution, but you can always upgrade in the future if you choose to do so and pop in a discrete graphics card when the budget is right. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit like and subscribe for more content coming soon. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.